Welcome to LFN News, a production of LFN Media, bringing you the latest in celebrity news, with specific analysis to keep you in the know of what is going on around you. R. Kelly, better known as the King of R&B was born on January 8, 1967 at Chicago Lying In Hospital, in the Hyde Park neighborhood of Chicago. The Black, Grammy-winning singer, songwriter, record producer, and philanthropist made 56 in prison on January 8, 2023, making it the fourth birthday he has had to celebrate inside prison since his unjustified arrest in July 2019. How unfortunate. Born Robert Sylvester Kelly to Joanne, a school teacher and devout Baptist, and an absentee father he never got to know, R. Kelly is the third of four children with an older sister and brother and a younger brother. His family lived in the Ida B. Wells Homes public housing project in Chicago's Bronzeville neighborhood. Kelly's mother Joanne Kelly, was a professional singer who raised her children in the Baptist church, where she sang lead in the choir. It was through the same church choir that R. Kelly would later be introduced to music at the tender age of eight. Kelly's high school music teacher is said to have described Kelly's childhood home as bare and fatherless. It was bare. One table two chairs. There was no father there, I knew that, and they had very little. Narrated the teacher. Kelly grew up in a house full of women, who he said would act differently towards him when his mother and grandparents were not home. From age 8 to 14, Kelly was actually abused by an older female family member. Explaining why he never told anyone, Kelly wrote in his 2012 autobiography that he was too afraid, and too ashamed to speak out. Around age 10, Kelly was also abused by an older male who was a friend of the family. Then at age 11, Kelly was shot in the shoulder while riding his bike allegedly by boys attempting to steal his bike, the bullet is reportedly still lodged in his shoulder. It's easy to assume that given the hardships Kelly and his family faced growing up, they probably never had any birthday celebrations in the family, but it's noted from sources close to Kelly and his family that celebrating birthdays was close to a ritual in the Kelly family. It's no wonder he grew up to pick on the ritual himself, even after his fame, R. Kelly has since celebrated his birthday in style each year. In fact, some of his birthday bashes have gotten so wild that the cops have had to make an appearance to calm things down a little. But yes, that's expected of any celebrity party. His wildest by far must have been the 2019 bash ahead of his arrest, in the wake of the infamous surviving R. Kelly that birthed the negative public opinion towards R. Kelly, following allegations from groupies that were looking to tarnish the R and B King's name in the public eye. Revelers say it was a wild scene at the B-75, a renowned Chicago nightclub as Kelly took to the mic, surrounded by screaming fans as he stressed he cared less about what was going on with all the false allegations, in reference to the controversy swirling around him after the airing of the surviving R. Kelly documentary series. Kelly had tons of fans on hand, gassing him up as he sang the opening to bump and grind when the cops made an appearance, allegedly responding to a call about a warrant for the singer's arrest. Law enforcement confirmed someone had dropped a dime, calling them to say Kelly was there and had a warrant for his arrest, which of course turned out to be a hoax once they determined there was no actual arrest warrant. The idea that R. Kelly has to celebrate his birthday in jail, for four years straight now, over allegations that will soon be turned around is indeed disturbing and to him, it must be even more disturbing, and each year's celebration must be a daunting reminder of his life outside prison. R. Kelly has always taken good care of himself and even as he continued to age, he always aged with grace. But although he is doing his best to keep up with his routine workouts in prison, it hasn't been that easy, considering the conditions. In fact, R. Kelly is visibly thicker and unhealthier, from all his court appearances. Those close to him actually say he is really having a hard time staying fit behind bars although he is doing all he possibly can. As he was turning 50, it is remembered how he bragged to ABC Radio about not being your average 50-year-old. I'm not your average 50-year-old. I'm not your average guy at all, really, to tell you the truth, he says. I know how to turn back the hands of time. I work out a lot. I'm in the best shape of my life. I feel good, 
and that's the way it's gonna be until it's out of my hands. He continued. But even though he may not be as healthy and wealthy as he had hoped he would be at 56, Kelly still has a lot to celebrate at his birthdays. The man has written, produced, and remixed songs, singles, and albums for countless artists. He has sold over 75 million records worldwide, making him one of the world's best-selling music artists. He is the 55th best-selling music artist in the United States with over 32 million album sales. Billboard named R. Kelly as the top R&B and hip-hop artist between 1985 and 2010 and the most successful R&B artist in history. What more is there to ask for? Yes, of course freedom would do him much better. But this wish isn't so far away either. Of course the Chicago trial has already made some headway for the R. Kelly legal team in the pending New York and Chicago appeals, after the acquittal of R. Kelly's co-defendants Daryl McDavid and Milton June Brown, who had been framed to justify the existence of an enterprise left the New York RICO charges hanging in the balance. And of course, the government is now plotting on how next to frustrate the efforts of R. Kelly's defense attorney, Jennifer Bonjean to win full freedom for the singer, but the fact remains that at the end of the day, the truth shall rule and justice will indeed prevail. This was not short of the millions of birthday wishes, the R&B King received from the world this past birthday, majorly through social media, but also via direct calls to our newsroom, a few of which we feel convicted to share with you. Nicole said, Happy 56th birthday Kels! Been down with you since born into the 90s and am not about to stop. Keep making music and producing great music. Nothing can stop you. Not even prison. You are definitely the greatest of all time. The king of R&B. Freedom is coming soon. Happy birthday. Bright said. Happy birthday King Kells, thanks for all the music over the years. You are truly what musical genius is made of and you definitely are a living legend. Candy said. Happy 56th birthday Mr. Kelly. I love you and your love for music. How even when people try to push you down, you always rise up even higher. I know this too will end in a victory. I would love to go to one of your concerts soon. May our God continue to bless you and your family and keep you as you go through these tough times that will soon come to pass. I am a lifelong fan and I will always keep you in my prayers. That's all we had for you today. Please share your very own birthday message to our Kelly in the comment section below. Thank you for watching LFN News, a production of LFN Media, giving you another view of issues at hand.